what's up Cal gang? All right, so we got this statics problem here. So we have some friction forces and let's go ahead and just jump right into this problem. So part A is asking for how much uh, do you need to pull at P in order to tow this box? So really quick, we have these three numbers here. The weight of the box is 220 pounds. We're pulling four feet up and the static friction between the box and the ground is 0 0.4, or the coefficient is. So yeah, let's go ahead and solve. So we know that in order to tow something, the force pulling this way has to be greater than the force pulling back. So if we were to draw a force body diagram for this, and let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> it's gonna be very useful. So we have G at the center here, so let's go ahead and just draw G. So G, we know there's force gravity pushing down here. Right, so force gravity always acts. Uh, then we know that like it goes down uh, three feet. And then at some point here, there's gonna be uh, a normal pushing back up. We can just, there's gonna be normal everywhere, but if we can label it as one point of normal pushing back up. And then at that normal, there's also gonna be friction force, right? So if this is A in here, so A is there. So this would be distance X. That's gonna be part B, we're gonna solve for that later. But then of course also we have uh, P pushing here. So this is a pretty messy force body diagram, but it's all we need to in order to solve the problem. So we know that this total height here is four feet. This is two feet. Yeah, basically that's all we're gonna need here. So now let's just go ahead and solve part one. So like we said, the forces pushing this way have to be stronger than the forces pushing this way in order for it to tow. So friction force is gonna build up to its maximum force until it can't uh, hold on anymore, basically. And so let's find out that point that it, it breaks equilibrium. What point would the friction fail at? So we know that friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the force normal. So really quickly we can figure out here, we can do uh, some of the forces in the y is equal to zero. We know that force gravity pushes down, so it'll be minus force gravity plus normal. So we know that normal is equal to the gravity, or force of gravity, and we are given that it weighs 220 pounds. So we know that normal is equal to 220 pounds right off the bat. So then we can basically plug it in right here, right? So let's go back to our friction. Friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction, 0 0.4 times force normal, 220. 220. So then you're gonna find that the friction is basically 88 pounds. Or that's the maximum force that I can hold on to. So if friction is equal to 88 pounds before it breaks equilibrium, then P would break at 88 pounds, right? Because someone forces in the x direction. Someone forces in the x direction is equal to zero. We can say it's equal to P to the right minus friction. So then again, P is equal to friction. So it breaks at 88 pounds. So for A, P is equal to 88 pounds. Great, so now we can go ahead and solve part two. Find the location of the resultant normal force measured from A. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So back to our force body diagram, A is here. We know that it's two feet until the center of mass here, and then it's some unknown distance until we get to force normal. So what we wanna do is let's take the moment around A, because if we take the moment at A, the moment includes distance in the equation. So some of the moments, around A, we know it's gonna be equal to zero because we're at equilibrium. So let's look, so we have P here, P is four feet away and it's pushing in the X direction. So let's see, it's pushing this way, that's clockwise, so we're gonna be subtracting P minus P times its distance in the Y direction, which is four, right? So then we have the gravity here, so gravity is pushing down in the Y direction. So we know it's gonna be, it's pushing here, so it's gonna make us wanna go clock or counterclockwise around A, so we're actually gonna add force gravity, and then uh, it's pushing in the y direction, so its distance in the x direction is two feet. And then all we have left is normal, so normal is pushing here, that's making it wanna go clockwise. We're gonna subtract normal, and then it's times its distance, so its distance is x, that's what we're solving for, x. So then of course we have some friction, so friction pulls you this way, which is not gonna enact a moment around A because it's pushing in the X direction and its only distance is in the X direction. So this is our equation, so we're solving for X, so let's go ahead and move that over. So it'll be NX is equal to 
negative P, so we said we found P already. Uh, yeah, we said P is 88 pounds, so it'll be negative 88 times four plus force gravity, so force gravity is its weight, so plus 220 times two. So then of course, we also know normal, so normal is what we found earlier, is 220. So then all we needed to do was divide, uh, divide by 220, so x is equal to negative uh, 88 times four plus 220 times two over 220. And then if you solve that, you're gonna get uh, distance is equal to, or x is equal to 0.4 feet. Right, so x is d, so distance, x direction. So there you go, so that's how you solve this problem. Uh, those are both parts. So it's not that tricky, but you just gotta, you know, get the hang of it, basically. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. And uh, yeah, I have a whole playlist, so please check that out if you made it this far. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.